Hi honeys, it's Kelsey here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you guys saw in the title above, we are going to do a Morphe X Jeffree Star Artistry Palette review. Ah! As you guys can see, I already did my makeup, so you're gonna get a quick glimpse of what look I did come up with. This palette is so fun to use. It's so pretty and you guys can see I used a lot of shades on this look. Um, but honestly guys, this palette has made me feel really good about myself. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys how it came. So this palette came in this little box or container and on, on the back it has a picture of Jeffree Star himself and a cute little quote that he wrote to us below you can see all the ingredients that are in the palette once you open the palette it does come in this really nice bubble wrap which is right here i kind of just stuffed the palette back in there but this is what the palette looks like once it's out of the box very similar to the box and then once you open her it has a nice little protector for the shadows and of course i've already used a lot of the shadows so if they look used that's why um, it does have the legendary Jeffree Star mirror in the palette. And yeah, guys, it comes with 30 shades. And the shades are neutral, shimmer, matte, metallic. You get like everything in this palette, guys. Like I never even really use metallics. And if you look at my eyes, I did use metallic orange and like a metallic like white color if you guys want to see my thoughts on this palette and how i achieved this look keep on watching all right guys so as you saw in my intro today we'll be doing a makeup look featuring the morphe x jeffree star artistry palette i'm so excited to finally sit down and work with these shadows honestly i've had this palette for probably about four four days now and i haven't touched it yet for this video so you're welcome i'm really excited to finally sit down and use these two green shades down here oh my gosh i'm praying to god that they work because if not you will see that on camera without further ado let's get started so guys as usual i have my eyebrows done and my eyelids already primed i tried this new thing with my eyebrows i tried and attempted the like the ombre eyebrow i don't know if it looks ombre or not it kind of does from what I see, but I don't know if it looks like that on camera, so let me know if it looks good. So to start, I'm going to take my Morphe X Jacqueline Hill JH33 brush, and the first shade that I'm gonna dip into the palette is the shade Nate. I don't know if y'all follow Jeffree Star and his relationship and his life like I do, but right now Nate's hair is the exact same color as that green, so I just love how they like dyed his hair the same color as the shade that's named after him in the palette. I think that's pretty cool. And we are going just to apply that shade right in the crease, but we're not gonna blend it out yet. We're just gonna pack that shade on and then we'll move on to the next shade. Guys, this shade is so pigmented. I'm a little shook. So I'm just taking a little bit of shadow at a time because I want to be able to build this and I don't want it to look messy. So we're just gonna take a little bit of shadow at a time and I'm just gonna pretty much outline the entire crease of my eye. Guys, this shade is so pretty and it's going on like butter. Like it's so soft. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna do that same thing to the other side. Open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up smoke, smoking up. All right guys, so I now have that finished. Y'all are probably like, what the hell are you doing? Like. <laughs> okay, so now on the palette, I'm gonna go in and take the shade called Wake and Bake, which is that beautiful kiwi shade in the palette. So to apply that Wake and Bake shade, which again, that's that kiwi shade in the palette, I'm gonna use my Morphe X Jacqueline Hill JH39 brush. I am going to apply that shade around the shade Nate. If you OPN, uh, engaging, use on my agenda. 
Request my chariot and get ya. The doors open now. Take that high road and hop in now. Open up, open up. All right, guys, so now that I have that around the shade Nate, I'm just gonna go back in with the brush that we used to apply Nate. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that shade and blend it into the shade Wake and Bake. Open up. All right, guys, so now that I have the shades blended how I would like, I am going to do a halo in the center of my eye. Remember those walls I built? You don't want to put up a fight. You didn't want to make a sound. I thought that I could let you in. All right, guys, so to do the crease or to do the halo, we're going to use my concealer, which is in the shade C165, and it's the Morphe concealer. If you guys want a more in depth um, explanation for how to do the halo, you can refer back to my video that's titled Pink Halo Eyeshadow Tutorial. And I go into more depth on actually how to get the halo effect. Take that hot road and hop in. First impression, you OPN. We should be closer to friends. If you OPN, uh, engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot and get ya. The doors OPN. Uh, take that hot road and hop in. Uh. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up the smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate. All right, guys, so the halo is finally cut. I don't know what shadow I want to use, so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch a few shades. I'm going to go ahead and swatch a few shades for you and me so we can see what we want to do. The shade that's really sticking out to me right now is Wand Noise, and that is this beautiful orange shade right here, and I kind of want that in the center of my lid, but we got to make sure that it will work. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch that for us. Hopefully you guys can see it. This shade is actually beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's kind of like a metallic-y orange, um, but it's not like so in your face. I'm also gonna go ahead and swatch Dog Mom. This kind of looks like that. It has an orangey undertone to it. But guys, this is so pretty. Oh my God, I kind of want to do both. I'm just gonna do a few other shades just so we can like see what's in the palette. Watch don't know her and then i'm gonna go ahead and swatch millions so this is don't know her oh this is a pretty metallic pink i love these metallics surprisingly i've never actually like worn metallics before so there's that this looks even gorgeous just on the finger Yes, that's just like a beautiful gold glittery moment. So I'm going to swatch Mogul, Self Made, and then Pink Fleet. But this is going to be Mogul. Oh my gosh, this is very pigmented. Wow. So that's Mogul. And then we have Self Made. This pink is to die for. That's so pretty. I'm going to do Pink Fleet up here. So I went ahead and I swatched Pink Fleet up at the top here. So these shades are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with all of them. I know that these shades have already been swatched in multiple other videos, so I'm not gonna swatch the entire palette. I know a lot of people were honestly skeptical of buying these shadows because a lot of people thought that the shadows weren't gonna be as good as Jeffrey's shadows. However, I'm starting to prove that that is not true. These shadows, I believe, are just as good as the Jeffree shadows. I hope people can see that these shadows are just as good as Jeffree, Cos Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I didn't think that Jeffree was gonna play us. Like, I knew better. But, you know, some people are like, uh, I don't know. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go in with that shade Wand Noise, which was that metallic orange. 
And to apply, I'm going to use the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. Now guys, I'm not gonna bring that the whole way down because I am gonna ombre it into that shade Dog Mom. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead in with the shade Dog Noise and I'm gonna bring that the whole way down to my lash line. Oh, I said, did I say Dog Noise? I meant dog mom, wow, okay. Yeah, so the shade dog mom, I'm gonna bring that down to the lash line. Now that we have that applied, we are going to go back in with the shade Nate with the JH33 brush, and we're gonna bring that green shadow in on each side. All right, guys, so the eyeshadow is done for now. Now we're just going to go ahead and move on to lashes. As usual, I'm going to use my um, Kiss Naked Drama Lashes in Tool. First impression, you OPN. We should be close to the friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN. Take that hot road and hop in. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to. All right, guys, so for now, we're going to be done with the eyes. We're just going to move on to the face. And then once we're done with the face, we will go ahead and do that little pink moment underneath the eyes. So far, I really like it. So guys, for primer today, we're just gonna go in with the Master Prime um, Primer Base by Maybelline. And then for foundation today, we're just going to go in with the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I'm in the shade 260. So now guys, as usual, I'm going to go in with my Morphe Concealer. Honestly, after using this for a couple weeks now, I am honestly in love with this concealer and I'm gonna continue to purchase this until I get my hands on the Jeffree Star concealer. I tried to buy it the other day. However, like half of the concealers are sold out and honestly, I don't feel comfortable with purchasing a concealer without seeing it in person. Um, so I'll just have to wait until, you know, he puts that concealer in store and then, you know, I'll think about getting it. But for now, Morphe, you are killing it with this concealer. This concealer is only $9 and I think it works just as good as my Shape Tape. And the Shape Tape is like $27. So, yeah. So guys, so for, for contour, I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe bronzer. And I've been loving this since Morphe has put this in my bag when I went to the Morphe X Jeffree Star brand opening. And I love this bronzer. And I just apply it with my e.l.f. concealer brush. Guys, by the way, it's Demi Lovato's birthday today. It is August 20th and that probably means nothing to you guys but i am a huge demi lovato fan and i've been a lovatic that's what our fan base is called i've been a lovatic for like seven or eight years now i can't do the math right now but since december 31st 2011 i have been a lovatic demi has honestly been a huge role model in my life and you know People can say whatever they want about her, but I know that she is a strong, beautiful person. And 
I know that she is doing what she needs to do to get her life right. So, um, yeah, happy birthday, Demi. Obviously, you're never going to see this video. However, you have been my idol for the longest time, and I love your music. I have all of your albums, and I just love you. She has kind of been like behind the scenes for like the last year, which I respect completely. Um, but I'm ready for some new music, Demi. So if you can, you know, put out a single or two, I don't need a tour. I don't need a concert. I mean, I would like that, but I don't need that. I just need some new music. Cause you know, I be having, um, tell me you love me album on repeat still to this day. Now, if you guys know me from school or just in my personal life, you know that I'm a Levotic and I have spent so much money on Demi Lovato, like with the meet and greets. I've been to like seven or eight concerts, guys. So now guys, I'm just gonna go ahead in with this contour brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this bronzer. Like I was saying before, Demi Lovato is literally the bomb. If you guys are like really skeptical about her, you should probably get over that and actually give her music a chance like i don't mean the stuff that they put on the radio i mean her actual music on the albums that doesn't make it onto the radio like the ones that are heartfelt like some songs literally just like make me cry in like mid-sentence because they're that beautiful and a lot of them hit to home so honestly like i said don't be a hater give her a chance Look up a few songs and let me know what you guys think of it. All right guys, so I have actually been doing this a lot where I take eyeshadows in the palette that I'm using and make it into my blush. I'm gonna go into the shade Self Made right here and make this my blush. Hopefully it's not too harsh of a blush because I'm not trying to look like a clown because that's a very, very, very bright pink. But we shall see what happens. All right guys, so I just put self-made and wand noise over top my cheeks look very pink right now but once i set my face um it should tone down the blush as well as when i put highlighter on all right guys so now i'm just gonna go and set my face with the laura mercier setting powder the doors open. Take that hot road and hop in. Open up. All right, guys. So now I'm just gonna go back in with that angled contour brush and wipe away the powder. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. So, guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and do a highlight. And the shade that has been catching my eye is designer label right here. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush and apply designer label as my highlight. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go in and do my under eyes. Well, first I'm gonna go in with Self Made and then I'm gonna go in with Pink Fleet. And to apply it, I'm gonna use the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH43 brush. First impression, you open. We should be close. All right guys, so now just for a little inner corner moment, I'm gonna go back into the palette and use the shade right here called Welcome. And to apply it, I'm going to use the JH42 brush. First impression, you open. Yes, that's cute. That is real cute. All right, let me let me pipe down. Let me pipe down. All right, guys. So now for lips, I am going to take one of my Jeffrey lipsticks. So you guys are gonna see a little preview of one of the lipsticks that I got. I did get the shade Nathan, but this shade is so pretty. Yes, you're just gonna get a little sneak peek of this look, but I have many lipsticks on the way. And I'm so excited because I only ever tried one other lipstick, my Morphe X Jeffree Star vlog. So if you guys wanna see what Scorpio looks like on my lips, you can watch that vlog to the end and you'll see it. We should be close to friends. If you OPN, uh, engaging is on my agenda. 
Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open. Take the hot road and all right guys so this look is officially done i love this look guys this is first of all this is this is third day hair we about to do something with this mop because we are not going out in public with with the hair looking like this i love this look and honestly i wasn't even like attempting to do this this just kind of like happened and i wanted to utilize as many shades in the palette as possible so we could get a feel whether or not oh, like the entire palette is is good so honestly this gets a 10 out of 10 for me this palette is absolutely gorgeous and i use a lot of a lot of the shades i swatched a lot of the shades now the shades that i didn't use were like the lighter like nudie shades and honestly it's because i don't really use those shades anyways if i were to use that shade those shades i would just use them as a transition shade which is why i wasn't too worried about them but i'm sure that they do work just as well as the bright vibrant shades my overall total was $39 and that included the shipping plus using the 10% discount code. So this palette was definitely worth the money and it is a good price point for what you get. Honestly, the shadows work just as well as the Jeffree Star cosmetic shadows. And guys, this lip, oh my gosh, I'm not even going to talk about this lip because I need to save that for the other video. But guys, this lip feels amazing. It's so light and I love this color. I think it's gorgeous. You can do neutral looks. You can do pink looks. You can do green looks, orange. You can even do like a smoky eye. They have like this cute little section right here where you can do like a little fall smoky eye. So this palette is amazing. And also guys, I used it as highlighter, as blush and eyeshadow. And I even used it as eyeliner. Um, you probably won't see that in the video because I usually cut that part out. I ordered this palette on the day of launch, which was August 13th, I believe. And my palette shipped the same day. Guys, that is like unheard of. Literally, the Morphe workers probably had to be working like day and night to get these palettes out. And then I got the palette, um, you know, four days later. So I'm definitely thankful for that. This palette is definitely worth the money. Definitely purchase it. And I'm just so glad that I did. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to follow me on this crazy journey, you can go ahead and follow me on all of my social media. I will have everything linked below for you guys. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.